am Adrian, and welcome to Kiwi's Crochet Corner. Um, if you are new to my channel, um, I usually do yarn and crochet content. Occasionally, I'll talk a little bit about knit. Some haven't finished or still haven't figured out how to do that yet, but I'm, I'm working on it. Um, and if you're not new to my channel and you've been watching for a while, thanks for coming in. Uh, thanks for, you know, keeping up with my channel. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Hey guys, um, so today I have a hook review. And then I also have, um, some beautiful safety eyes to show you guys. Um, some some safety eyes and 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 uh, I hope you guys I really hope you guys like them. Um, now, both of these items I picked up to make a giant version of the axolotls that you guys may or may not have seen in my last couple of videos. Um, that axolotl I am planning on using. Um, two strands held together of this uh, Mainstays Chenille Chunky Yarn. Um, there is 31 yards in each one of these balls and it is a super bulky six and I'm going to try to hold two, two strands of this together to get the size that I'm looking for. So, since I, for the most part, only work with thinner weight yarns, I had to go buy um, some new crochet hooks, some bigger crochet hooks, <laughs> much, much bigger, and I will link these down in the description box. So, um, I picked these up. I picked these up on Amazon, and they are, oh no, don't blow away, they are bamboo, let me see if I can hold them up there, Oof. I've got a 30 millimeter, which is huge, 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 like it's huge, <laughs> and a 25 millimeter which is the recommended size for that that yarn if I were to hold it one stranded and you know if I if I enjoy working with it maybe I'll get some more of that Chanel yarn and work up some blankets part of my issue with working with or with making blankets is they take a really long time to make and they get pretty heavy but I'm thinking that the Chanel yarn might be light enough that it wouldn't bother me too much um, then in this little set, I got a 20 millimeter and a 15 millimeter, which up until, uh, you know, I placed this order, 15 millimeter was the largest I've had, and I very rarely use it. So these are what they look like together. You know, there's a, this thing. <laughs> This thing is huge, and this is what I'm planning on using. Hopefully it'll be big enough. This is what I'm planning on using with the chunky yarn, two, with, with the two strands held together. I'm hoping it will be big enough. Um, I don't know if they make a 35 millimeter or, I think they do make a 45, but I don't know if they make a 35 or a 40 millimeter crochet hook. I'm sure if I looked hard enough, I could probably find one. Um, so this little kit also came with uh, some some needles, just which I never use the plastic ones, so those will probably eventually go into a giveaway. Um, some stitch markers, which these will end up going to Kiwi. These I, I don't ever use these either, but Kiwi loves to play with them, and then these other larger stitch markers, which I believe are for knitting. 
Um, so I'm not really sure why the notions are more for knitting than crochet, but for some reason it came with four crochet hooks and then all of the notions are knitting stuff. Or, well, I guess it says knitting needles on here, but I mean, you could use that to weave in your ends on a crochet piece. Um, so as far as the hook goes, like as big as it is, like it doesn't feel super heavy. Um, the bamboo is very smooth and I'm thinking that it should work pretty well with this yarn. I haven't worked up a swatch or anything. Um, but I mean, considering I, I, these, these are my options. Like, I'm, I'm not going to go out and buy another hook to be able to do this, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's a good thing it's pretty well smooth. It doesn't seem like it's going to catch the yarn. Um, so I'm pretty happy with these bamboo hooks. I have no idea where I'm going to be able to store them because they they are so huge. Um, now, the, the, um, the little sizing... I don't know if you can see that. The the size of the hook is engraved into the bamboo. Um, so that's that's pretty cool. It's not gonna wear away. I like that a lot because the plastic um, handles on the metal hooks I have it's starting to wear away and sometimes I don't always grab the right size hook because I have to try to remember which sizes which color. <laughs> Um, and so that can be kind of frustrating. Um, so I'm pretty pleased with this little set of hooks or whatever. Um, and I'll link that. I'll, I'll link everything that I've shown you in, in the description box. I think I already said that though. Um, <laughs> so the other thing that I have to show you guys, um, are these absolutely gorgeous hand painted, um, they're, they're hand painted safety eyes, and again, I got these for uh, for the large axolotl that I'm planning on making. Um, they are. Let me see. Let me show you. I don't know if you guys can see the color. Um, so this is what they look like. These are 40 millimeter. Um, I paid 1064 uh, after shipping and taxes. These eyes, I don't know if you guys can see the glitter, but they are glittery. They're also UV reactive, so I'm going to set these in the sun for just a minute because the color will actually change, um, and then they're also glow in the dark. So that was pretty cool. This is the first time I've ordered from uh, Suncatcher Craft Eyes is the company, um, and they did come with these large... Uh, pieces to put on the back of, uh, on the back of the safety eyes. Um, and the ones I got are called Magical Dreams and the color is Astral Realm. And here is their information. I, I hope you guys can see that. Um, I am, I'm very impressed to be honest with these eyes. Like I said, they are four minutes. 40 millimeter and they had every size imaginable that you could think of um, they are you know as as far as safety eyes go they are a little bit more expensive but that's because they are hand painted um, and a lot of their a lot of their eyes that I seen on the website are they've got glitter ones they've got Christmas themed ones they've got Halloween themed ones They've got an eye for every holiday you can think of. Um, they've got a lot of glow-in-the-dark ones. Um, these ones just happen to be UV and glow-in-the-dark. Um, and these, the pair, the, the Astral Dream safety eyes that I got, um, I think came in like five or six different colors. Um, I just got these blue ones because uh, the person that the axolotl is for her favorite color is turquoise, and so I was kind of going like with a turquoise type of a theme. Um, and you know, on their website it says that uh, 
it could take two to three weeks for the item to ship out however mine shipped I think three or four days after I placed the order um, so I mean I guess if they were backed up or something then it might take two or three weeks to get them out um, and this this company I believe is in New York um, let's see if the eyes are charged up enough to where <coughs> the color has changed I don't know what do you guys think have they has the color I don't think it's changed maybe maybe that maybe it takes a while I don't know I know that in the uh, in the pictures they were very UV reactive there was a distinct difference in shades of blue and then let's see they must not be charged up enough because they're not glowing yet either so it must take a while for these to uh, charge up and maybe it's because you know the paint is on the back and then uh, that plastic is over the top so it may take a little bit but they did they are super pretty I mean I don't, like I said I don't know if you guys can see the very fine glitter that's in the uh, iris of these um, I'm super impressed with these and if you guys do Amigurumi regularly or you'd like to check them out I will also link them in the description box as well um, but uh, yeah I, I, I highly recommend their their uh, safety eyes um, but anyways that is what I have for you guys today um, I hope you enjoyed it uh, you know if you did you know give me a thumbs up maybe subscribe uh, you know all, all of that stuff you know um, I am actually filming this on Valentine's Day um, just because it is such a pretty day outside so I am going to I'm sorry I'm looking at myself in the camera going what is that <laughs> um, yeah it's Valentine's Day so I'm gonna go in and spend the rest of the rest of the day with my kiwi bird and I will see you guys in my next video